For more videos, visit ForTheSakeOfEducation.com Alright guys, let's do this problem that says each cord can sustain a maximum tension of 20 pounds, find the largest weight that the lamp can be, and also find this angle of theta. So basically we're going to do a bunch of free body diagrams and we're going to start here at A. We know that this tension right here is the weight of the lamp and then we got this tension right here AC and this tension AB and we know these angles are 45 and 60. So at A we know that the sum of the forces in the X is equal to zero so minus the tension AB times the cosine of 60 again in case you didn't know I'm assuming this orientation this is the X and this is the Y so minus AB cosine of 60 plus AC cosine of 45 is equal to 0 so when you solve for AB you get that AB is equal to AC times 1.414 now I'm going to call this equation 1. You also know that at A, the sum of the forces in the Y is also equal to 0. So AB, sine of 60 going up, plus AC, sine of 45 also going up, minus the weight is equal to 0. So 0.866 AB plus 0 0.707 AC is equal to W but we know that AB is AC times 1.414 so if we plug that into the AB right here we can put W in terms of AC and we get that 0 0.1866 times 0.4 times 0.1.414 is equal to 1.225 AC plus 0 0.707 AC is equal to W which yields AC is equal to 0.518 times the weight and you can plug this into equation 1 you plug it into right here for AC and you get that AB is equal to 0 0.732 times the weight so now if we go here at B we got this tension AB going down this tension BC going straight to the left and this tension BE going up to towards the left and we know the angle is 60 if this angle is 60 that means that this angle right here is also 60 so at B sum of the forces in the Y is equal to zero which means that B E going up times the sine of 30 minus A B times the sine of 60 is equal to zero but we already know A B we found it right here so we plug it in there and we can solve for BE and we get that BE is equal to 1.268 times the weight also at B you know that the sum of the forces in the X is equal to 0 so BE going to the left is negative BE times the cosine of 30 plus AB times the cosine of 60 plus BC is equal to 0 which is found BE we already know AB <coughs> from right here so when you solve for BC you get that BC is equal to 0 0.732 times the weight now let me turn the page now we're gonna go here at C we have this tension CD going up, this tension CA going down, which we found before, and this tension BC, which we also found before. Now here we know that the sum of the forces on the X is equal to zero. So minus BC 
minus AC cosine of 45 plus CD cosine of theta is equal to zero. BC we found a negative 0.732W. AC we found a negative 0.518W cosine of 45 times the cosine of 45 plus CD cosine of theta is equal to zero. So if you solve for CD cosine of theta, you get that CD cosine of theta is equal to 1.098W. And let's call that equation two. We also know that this sum of the forces in the Y is equal to zero. So minus AC times the sine of 45 plus CD times the sine of theta is equal to zero. So if you solve for CD sine of theta, CD sine of theta is equal to AC times the sine of 45, which is 0.518W for AC. And when you plug it in, you get that this is equal to 0.366W. And let's call this equation three. Now, if you divide equation three by equation two, this is what you get. On the top you get CD sine of theta equal to 0.366W. At the bottom you get CD cosine of theta times 1.098W. And look what happens. The CDs cancel out, the Ws cancel out, and sine over cosine of the same angle is tangent of theta is equal to 0.366 over 1.098 and um, that means that theta is equal to the tangent inverse of this fraction which comes out to be 18.43 degrees so we found theta we can plug that into either equation 2 or equation 3 let's plug it into equation 2 and solve for CD and you get that CD is equal to 1.157 times away. Now that we have all the tensions, we can sort them out, we can sort them from the biggest to the smallest and you know that BE is the biggest and then comes CD, then comes A, and A I'm talking about the string that goes from here to here, the whole salam, that's another string so I, I count it as well. Then BC and AB and the one that holds the least amount of weight is AC. So since the maximum weight is 20 pounds, you set the maximum to the one that holds most of the weight. So if BE is equal to 20 pounds, and you know that BE is equal to 1.268 times the weight, then you divide 20 by 1.268 and you get that the weight is 15.77 pounds. And that is the maximum weight that this uh, lamp can be for the system to work and none of the cords to fail at 20 pounds. Final answer. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.